The SeaTech Flow VPX system works inline directly into your downstream process, creating a measure of control previously unheard of. Today, we'll go over how to perform a system suitability test to ensure proper functionality of the Flow VPX system. We will be using Repligen certified slope reference standards, CHEM 13, and Confirm High. The system suitability test requires the XSA unit and the XSA fibrette included within the Flow VPX system. Before performing the test, make sure the system is not loaded with the solution or with a flow cell. To learn how to properly unload the flow cell, refer to the Flow VPX system hardware manual or the unloading and loading a flow cell video. Run the Viper software on the computer by double clicking the program icon located on the desktop. Upon launch, the console will appear and run calibrations in the background. Before running any process in the software, ensure the console says ready and the carry 60 power button is green. Enter your username and password in the indicated fields. Click validation check to launch the application. Click the system suitability on the instrument control menu to start the system suitability process. Click continue and follow the on-screen prompts. Click step completed to proceed. Load the System Suitability Fibrette into the System Suitability Adapter XSA unit by inserting the tip into the XSA Fibrette holder first with the threaded end facing up. Make sure the tip of the Fibrette optical component is clean before inserting. To clean the Fibrette optical component surface, take a lint-free wipe dampened by methanol or isopropyl, fold the wipe over twice, and wipe in only one direction, not back and forth. Attach the Flow VPX head. Make sure the orientation of the electrical components on the adapter and the Flow VPX head line up with each other. Using the 4mm hex driver provided with the system, tighten the Flow VPX attachment screw onto the XSA unit. The Viper software will detect the XSA unit, and if not detected, the software will guide you to repeat the previous steps. Affix the FX connector nut by aligning and tightening on the threaded end of the fibrette. To ensure proper installation, tighten the larger diameter hole facing down. Use the 12 pound torque wrench provided in the system. Tighten until you hear an audible click. Affix the FC connector nut by aligning and tightening it by hand above the FX connector nut. Load the Flow VPX detector into the Detection Validation Adapter DVA. Make sure the detector connector is facing out. Pipette at least one milliliter of the standard into the sample vessel provided with the system. Select the appropriate reference material from the list and input the required information. In this case, we are using confirmed slope reference materials. Load the sample vessel into the vessel holder, then load into the DVA unit. Then unmount the Flow VPX head from the stand and place the XSA and Flow VPX head assembly onto the DVA unit. Affix the XSA unit and the DVA unit by tightening the two spring-loaded screws. The Viper software will then search for the zero position. When the zero position is successfully found, click Continue. Connect the delivery fiber and the detector cable to the Flow VPX, then click Continue. The transmission check then is automatically performed. The software will then display the result of the transmission check. Once the check is successfully completed, click Continue. If the transmission check fails, refer to our general troubleshooting video. The Viper software will then run the reference material. The software will show the resulting tolerance and slope. If the measurement falls out of expected variance, the software will prompt the user to retry. If the problem persists after retrying, refer to our general troubleshooting video. To complete the test, Click Continue. In order to run a different sample, follow the on-screen prompts. The screen will display the following text. Do you want to run a different sample or unload the XSA? Click Run a different sample. Remove the detector cable and delivery fiber from the Flow VPX, then remove the XSA unit from the DVA unit by loosening the two spring-loaded screws. Either use a new sample vessel or thoroughly clean the used sample vessel before inserting the new sample into the vessel. For proper cleaning of the sample vessels, refer to our video on the subject. Load the sample vessel into the DVA unit. 
Place the Flow VPX head and XSA assembly into the DVA. Screw and tighten the XSA unit to the DVA unit using the two spring-loaded screws. Wait while Viper searches for the zero position before moving on to the next step. Connect the delivery fiber to the FC connector nut. Connect the detector cable to the detector port on the detector. Wait until the transmission check is performed before moving on to the next step. Wait until Viper runs the reference material before proceeding to the next instruction. To unload the XSA, disconnect the detector cable from the detector. Disconnect the delivery fiber from the FC connector nut. Remove the FC and FX nut from the fibrette. Then unscrew the spring-loaded screws on the XSA unit to detach the XSA from the DVA unit. Remove the Flow VPX head from the DVA unit, then remount onto the stand. Then remove the two XSA screws using the 4mm hex driver. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our Flow VPX specialists.